welcome back to Homeschooling HQ. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to post all your wonderful work on our social media. We really enjoy looking at it. Now today we're going to start our writing journey and we're going to use five amazing ways to do that. Now as I said, this is the start of a massive journey, okay? We don't need to force writing letters or writing names straight away. It's all about building up those gross motor skills and getting that motion of writing always installed into our brains. So let's get onto that journey straight away. Right, so this activity is all about making marks, okay? And we're gonna do lots of printing to start off with. I've got some paint, I've just used an old tray, put some paint on there. And for example, I could use some old toy cars. I'm just gonna roll them in and then, ooh, hey, and then making that, those marks on our big bit of paper, okay? I can use a different one. And obviously, the children love this because they'll get nice and messy as they're doing it. And it's using those great motor skills, all these marks done. I'm using a, like a plastic golf ball, rolling it around, okay? You could even use things that are out of nature, like a shell. You could get a paint, big paintbrush and paint them. And again, just all about making those marks. The printing, or you could even get some leaves and stuff out of the garden. You can if you're so lucky. Or go to the park and pick them up. Okay. Lovely messy paint. Putting them on the paper. Making those prints. Okay. Woo! Right. So it's getting lots and lots of motor skill development there. And that's the start of our journey. We need to build those skills up before we even think about picking those pens and pencils up. Now it's great fun getting really messy with all this, okay? So I've got three other different ways of doing this. And we can just, again, all about making those marks. So I've got some sand here, just some play sand, okay? I would, first of all, show the children I want, what mark I want them to make, and then get them, again, to have a go on the other one, okay? We can start again, and if you want to do, you could look, start looking at those letters in the sand and again getting the children to copy what you're doing and maybe do C and then again get them, the children to copy what you've done. Okay? And the great thing is you just get rid of it and do it all again. Now this is one of my absolute favourites using shaving foam to do marks and shapes and letters. Okay? Loads of shaving, shaving foam, nice and messy, okay? Children absolutely love this. Again, taking our finger, making the letters, making the shapes, rubbing it all out, doing it all again. Great fun. And then after a quick clean up, why not get messy with the paint? Loads of paint on the, on the paper. Okay, again, same thing. Just making lots of fun patterns. Swirling around. Children just love it because they're getting messy and they're practicing all those wonderful shapes that they're gonna need later when they start writing all the letters. Now it's always great to have a nice roll of paper for any of these activities. If you've got a, a piece of I think this is parcel paper, white paper, um, wallpaper is really good for this as well, okay? Because you can just, it's just endless, you can just make your marks all over it. Lots of different ways, again, we can use big paint brushes, again, getting the children to do, oops, hello, save it, getting the, paint, the children to make the big marks, the shapes that they want to make. Or if you want to go a little bit smaller, you can actually use cotton wool bulbs like these, and again the children can make the marks. And they may naturally just start holding that bud, like a pencil or a pen. Now another great thing to use is obviously our, our chalk, and if you've got an outside area you can do it. You can do it on the, on the outside area first, on your concrete, or you can just transfer that bring it in onto the paper, letting the children make in their marks that they want to make. And again, 
again. Guys, the start of this journey is all about making those marks, making those patterns, making those uh, scribbles, and the more opportunities, the better. Thanks again for watching Homeschool HQ, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.